Oh, right. Um, I'll do a bit of review for you today. Um, my my lovely wife uh, bought me a new piece of kit today, and I thought I'd go through it with you and show you exactly what it is um, that she got me. So here it is. It is the uh, the Guild Rotary Tool Kit. So here it is, comes in this, this carry case here. So here it is. So what we'll do is we'll undo the latches. I mean, I've, I've already had this open once already, obviously. As soon as I got it out of the box, uh, well, as soon as the box was uh, delivered, I uh, couldn't wait to get it open. So in the top here we've got a nice selection of tools here, uh, plenty of uh, cutting discs, selection of sanding discs also and other cutting discs, uh, large and small sanding discs, uh, some nice small drill bits here as well as, I know they'll certainly come in handy. Uh, we've got different types of wire brushes, we've got just a normal uh, nylon brush here, and here, and here. Uh, sanding wheel, um, some grinding stones there as well as. So it is a pretty um, decent kit as far as I'm concerned at least anyway. Um, you got uh, some obviously the attachments for the sanders here, the attachment for the polishing pads, the attachments here for the uh, the discs. What I quite like about this kit is the fact that you have actually got three different um, uh, pins here. In some kits, normally you only get one, and uh, you have to be very careful. These little these little felt discs on the top here they're very easy to lose and of course if you lose one of those then um, your discs will just keep shattering if you try tightening them up um, we've got a, a selection here of different uh, engraving tools um, and other, other bits and pieces here as well as we've got uh, a, a miller uh, drill bit there, so that will definitely come in useful. Okay, yeah, so yeah, that's pretty good piece of kit that is. And then of course, if you need to buy more in the future, you can just go and buy yourself a, uh, another kit of these really. Okay, inside I've obviously got your instructions here. And you have the tool itself. Uh, yeah, it's a 130 watt uh, motor. Uh, speed runs variably from 1000 to 32,000. Um, got quite a fair bit of weight in it. Um, don't know why they've done that though. Got the switch on the underside here, and then on the top here, you've got the variable speed there as well as. So, yeah, it probably would have made more sense to actually have the switch on the top here, maybe. Um, I don't know. But it's quite a fair bit of weight in that as well, so. Um, Perhaps you don't want to be holding this in your hand for too long. So that's that. And then of course you've got you've got this piece here, this adapter piece here as well as. So okay, yeah, so even though the um, even though the drill itself does weigh 
um, a fair bit. It's actually weighs a hell of a lot more than I thought it would do, to be fair, uh, for such a small drill. But if you've got this attachment on it as well as, I'll do away with that because you can just switch it on, leave it going, and you've got a hold of this piece here, haven't you? So, so yeah, from so from a DIYer's point of view, um, especially for me on the layout here as well as, this is going to be um, this is going to be a good piece of kit. This is. Um, I mean, one of the reasons why. Um, I had it was is I needed to cut some track and trying to cut the track um, with one of these you know that you're going to be asking for trouble eventually I've got away with it so far but it's not ideal so what I'll do is I'll be using these cut off wheels here uh, for slicing through or even these actually I might actually use these cutting discs might use them. Right then. The only thing I have probably uh, one small gripe with really on this is I've I've removed this. I've attached this piece here, but this doesn't spin independently on its own. So what you end up having to do here is you end up having to oops, excuse me you end up having to dangle it down like this onto the floor while you're screwing it on um, again it's not uh, it's not a big issue but a pain in, pain all nevertheless um, let's have a closer look yeah I suppose it probably would spin independently if it didn't have this spring on it. Perhaps, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, right then, um, I'm going to uh, get one of the cutting wheels set up on this. And uh, we'll start cutting into the track and see how it goes. Yeah, I think that did really well, um, especially with the cutting disc side of things, uh, it cuts through the track really nicely. Um, obviously, wear uh, glass, um, safety glasses when you're, when you're doing this, um, and you know, for, for what it cost, I thought actually it was a you know, pretty worthwhile investment to be fair. I'm sure it's going to last quite a while. Um, the uh, the brushes are very easy to uh, to change as well on the motor if uh, if ever they wear out. So so yeah, so big thumbs up from me, and I hope that in the future, if you decide you want to buy a little piece of kit like this yourself, um, then yep, yeah, go for it. Um, have a look, see what you think. Um, but yeah. I honestly believe it is actually worth it. There are some uh, cheaper variants out there, um, a, a lot cheaper to be fair. Um, you can get them from the likes of Aldi, eBay, um, but um, 
you, you do get what you pay for to be quite honest with you uh, the the tool kit uh, the tool kit itself is uh, quite decent to be fair um, as I said before I do really quite like uh, the drill bits that are in here um, yeah I do quite like the drill bits I've uh, been wanting to actually buy some quite small drill bits for some time now uh, but the trouble is is uh, I've got a 30 mil chuck on my drill and uh, they won't hold these tiny little these tiny little drill bits so that's a uh, uh, another good reason to to purchase one of these uh, little uh, tool kits. Um, now I have to admit there are probably uh, a few bits and pieces in here that I will probably never use, um, but I will have a go at everything and attempt to see if I can try and do a lot of uh, uh, different things with with this uh, tool. Um, so yeah, so I mean what I'm actually going to try and do well, it was one of the other reasons for buying this kit was this polishing uh, pad here. And the idea is, is to use these pieces here to actually clean the track with and see how we get on with that. Um, now if I can use this tool for odd jobs around the layout and also use it for cleaning the layout also um, then it certainly is going to be a uh, value for money. I've got some alcohol cleaner here already, uh, so I'm going to uh, put some of this on the pad, give it a good clean. I mean, this is quite a big layout, and the maintenance on this is is quite high, <laughs> to say the least. Um, so, so yeah, I tend to spend more time cleaning um, and uh, maintaining the track then then I do actually you know running trains <laughs> so anyways yes the uh the guild multi tool highly recommend it um go and check it out for yourself see what you think um I don't think you will be um overly disappointed at all really and it also comes with twelve month guarantee as well as and uh, and the the usual money back guarantee also at the same at the same place. Okay, right. I will leave you all to it for now. Thank you for watching. Um, if you did like this review, uh, please leave a comment. Um, and perhaps maybe in the future I might actually do some more. Um, but yeah, if you did like the video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, and if you haven't already, push the subscribe button as well as. And I will see you again in the very near future when we do our um, when we do our anniversary video. Okay, thank you very much. See you all soon. Bye bye for now. Bye bye.